first mistake and the first advice I always give everyone is go find a customer. Find a customer, look after them, find out how it works, find out what they need. Don't listen to what they say, but watch what they do, see how they behave. So my number one tip for would-be startup entrepreneurs is really follow your passion. Build a business around something you love because it will give you the kind of energy to create a really successful business. Usually there's got to be something that drives you because, you know, you can't keep up just the idea of getting rich or doing well or being out on your own and being able to make your own decisions can't last 16 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year for several years. You know, you can't do that you can't keep it up you've got to have a drive inside you and you do it for passion you know you do it because you want to do it obsession for the first few years then the smart person actually shares it with other people and gets good people in top tip for anyone starting a business i would think about it don't just dive straight in and have no shame and get any advice which you can go to business link go to the princess trust speak to friends speak to family be a sponge and absorb as, as much information as you can and just get what you can for free because knowledge is power and the more information you have before you start a business, the better. My top business tip, okay, are you ready for it? It's not technical, it's not academic, it is just basic and that is be yourself because being you is the best thing you can be. And over the last 12 years, when I've coached, mentored, written, shared, spoken at events, um, I've always just said to people, be yourself, uh, because being you is the best you can be. And I think that in this new world, this connected world, this online world, this social world, this world where people are going through adversity, where there's so much happening in the world, um, I think ultimately, when you actually realise that being you is yourself and you stop pretending and that you start just being the real whole person that you are and you start being happy with who you are and you start to understand all the strengths that you have and all the experiences of life and you join up the dots in your life and you realise that, that life is a journey, not a destination and that you start to be proud about all the things that you've learned, the people you've met, the experiences you've had, the challenges you've overcome and you realise that being you is quite a good thing and being you is about your personal brand and... Uh, my top business tip is be yourself, and I think you'll learn to be very proud of that. You know, startup companies, um, you know, probably the most important thing to know is that things take a lot longer than expected and, and cost more than expected. It's like doing a house renovation. It takes twice as long, costs twice as much. And uh, it's, it's, it's to be a little bit pessimistic, unfortunately, because I've, I don't think I've ever seen a business plan be achieved, um, you know, very rarely. Uh, so you've always got to allow for, th for things just being delayed and costing more. And it is tough. It is tough. So uh, just just be conservative with your assumptions. Do I have any advice for anyone who wants to start up a business? Yeah, I think the biggest thing in this country is to believe in yourself. It's so funny. People think that they can't do it. They, they, it all starts right here with yourself. You can do it. You could do it. So get up. Do your research and do it. And if you come and if you come across a problem, pick yourself back up. There is a solution, and keep on doing it. This is see. I have such an American mentality. We could do anything we want to do, and it's all mental. That's half the battle. If you believe you could do it, and you really want to do it, and you have a passion for it, you. I swear to you, you will do it. The internet was exploding. I was thinking big about my life and I had nothing to lose and no responsibilities. And that combination of being at the right place at the right time and being prepared, I had mentally and um, physically and financially prepared myself to do something at age 30, meant that the opportunity happened to be there, but if I had not been prepared, I wouldn't have seized it. And so you can't necessarily look at anything and say, well, it was this or it was that but it is the confluence of stuff that comes together and either you're ready and you're prepared or you're not. And then life gives you what life gives you, but I really believe that the harder, the harder you work, the luckier you get. If you work hard and if you take yourself seriously in a kind of light way, you believe that you should be investing in yourself. You're not looking for the world to take care of you. You say, hey, if I'm going to 
contribute something to the world, it's going to be up to me. It's not going to be up to my parents or my husband or my this or my that. I've got to make it happen. Then life gives you opportunities and you, it's up to you to seize them. My one piece of advice to everyone out there is start. Do something. Get off your backside and actually do something. You know, the momentum will build up and up and up and you'll get very excited about everything. And obviously it's important to keep a clear mind and have clarity in what you're doing. So rather than thinking, oh, where do I start? I've got so much to do. You know, write your business plan and follow it through meticulously. Where are you going? What's the end result? What are you looking to make out of this? You know, and obviously have clear defined goals and uh, you should be a success. And just finally, um, a final piece of advice for anyone thinking of starting a business. Do it.